All right, welcome to the BYU, or Cougar Valorant, I should say, um, UVU matchup for the Collegiate Valorant tournament. Um, the map decisions have already been made. Um, first map will be Haven, and the second will be Lotus. Welcome, everyone, tuning in. Uh, my name is Trevor, and I'm here with Caden. Looks like both teams know exactly who they're getting ready to play. Quick little rivalry. These guys played earlier last year at a show match. Teams looked a little different then, but... There have been a few changes to the team rosters, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a quick rivalry coming back at you. Max trying to decide if he's going to go with the cipher ch choice. Select your agent. I think they're just using the full time here to make sure that their strats are all ready to go. I think so too. All right. Well, this is going to be a very fun matchup. Uh, last time it was a, a, I believe, double overtime match. So it was neck and neck the entire time. And we're hoping to see something along those lines today. Shout out to Cougar Valorant for the matching player cards. That's kind of fun. They get a damage buff from that. Pretty good. Should be nerfed, to be honest. Yeah. It's a little too OP in Valorant. All right, and we're getting started. For those of you just tuning in, this is the Cougar Valorant versus UVU match in the Winter Seaval Tournament. This is for the West Conference. And this is Map 1 Haven. Looks like Cougar Valorant is looking up outside of C for a hit on the first round. This is now, do you know whose fun. map pick this was? This was uh, Cougar Valorant's map pick. Okay, so UVU chose to defend first. Quick little jump spot. They've already got all of sight. Pulling almost the first pick. Devin pushing him off of the site and he to be able to go down quick here pretty easily. UVU grouping up to possibly have a retake. You can see a couple rotating to go through. Go through garage. There's the first. Rezzer and Chubbs are both low here. Oh, Gormzy gets guy. two. Devin's still playing in that corner. Oh, so well. Last two EVU two players both playing together. One enemy oh, remaining. Perfect One double peek. Down. Well played by Cougar Valorant there. Quick little take on C site, and they were just never able to retake. UVU was never. That was a great play. Got two for both Saber and Gormzy. And one for Dervin. They only lost one player on that. They only lost their Smokes player, which is not super important on the pistol rounds. So, And especially Omen these days is so cheap. A few, a few patches ago, his util is just so cheap these days. Yeah. Give you grouping up outside of B to play together on this eco -rush. Oh, and they're peeking pickup. B's going quick. Oh, there's the quick pick. Gets one. Two picks, three picks for Cougar Valorant. Now the only two are both. Oh, and they get that quick. One enemy remaining. Did they read that the last one's in the smokes? Oh, and he gets it. He's good for two. And Durbin finds him. None of my stuff has malfunctioned yet. Can we celebrate that? All right, well, that's a very solid start from the Cougar Valorant team. And they've got the 4-3-2-1-0 scoreboard. I'm pretty sure that's another buff. They're just stacking up these buffs as high as they can to get the advantage against this EVU team. Got the player card buffs, the number buffs. 
And after winning the first two rounds, I'm sure they've got a bit of confidence buff going into this round as well. Uh, I think so too. Got very Cougar aggressive Valorant. from Gormzy, pushing up to take some mid space. Cougar Valorant on their bonus round, playing into UVU's full buy. Saturn finds one through the Ooh, smoke. Randomly. That is that is random right there. That's unlucky for Cougar Valorant. Now they're kind of thinking twice about whether or not they want to continue fighting here and. Oh, they get that pick. That was a good job peeking together. That was very cohesive right there. Should also be a gun upgrade. Oh, he flashes himself. That's so unfortunate. Oh, gets the pick. Last player standing. And Saber's left by themselves. How's the mom, though? Oh, unlucky. Still good for one, though. That's a lot of econ damage for UVU. Yeah. Cougar Valorant has to be happy with that round and their bonus round. Yeah. And now we're going to see a full bla full buy come through for Cougar Valorant. Uh, looks like UVU is just going to keep two rifle, three rifles. They might have a little bit of forcing going on. Looks like they're trying to decide how to manage their economy this round. Yeah. Unfortunately, two of them won't be able to buy next round regardless, so. Saber will be holding down the flank as Cougar Valorant looks to make contact A. The Fade Haunt was shot before it could find anyone. Bring them down. Oh, they read that he's up on top. Yeah, the Fade Prowlers don't clear that, so... That's one. Oh, Atlas finds one and is traded out by Gwanzi. Now it's two. What, now it is a 4v3. There's one in heaven. Oh, and he is ready for that raised backpack. Oh, the, the flank comes in to give another advantage towards Cougar. One enemy remaining. Last one. A 3v1 here. The Saturn... This is very good. Go for it. What? Now it's one v. It's a one v two situation. Gormzy is low. Oh, it doesn't clear the graffiti. He cleared for the for the hold against each other, but only but didn't turn and clear the graffiti angle. Yeah. If you're gonna smoke that crosshair, you gotta check the one. You leave for yourself. All right, and it is now 3-1. Cougars are in the lead. Haven is a rather attack-sided map, so this is playing on par with what uh, the scoreboard should be with a competitive game. Jump spot doesn't see anyone. That time, I think you got one. I think you got one too. You could tell that he, this is a save round for UVU. Crew Valorant now out of sight. Gormzy finds one, doesn't get the spray transfer. It was fate. But Crew Valorant pretty handily has a sight. One enemy remaining. Last one's flank. Will they read this? Spike planted. She's playing makes noise. so, so Rats careful. Very, very just made noise, so Dervin knows that they're there. Called it out. I now they have the crossfire. They've already got the crossfire. This is going to be a very difficult play with just a deagle. Now, who do they communicate? Who's going to... Nice. Very well played. That was a very good job of Dervin to hold that angle instead of moving his crosshair to break that, that fade eye. Honestly, great eco from UVU, though. That was a good eco. Bringing them down to two, that did hurt Cougar's economy, although they are playing off a few victories, so they have enough wiggle room to be able to still buy. Yeah, Chubb's just playing so patient on that backside, knowing that if he can just dodge the util, he'll be there and can get info to his team, which is going to be so helpful to him.
Now, if you're UVU here calling this timeout, what are you talking about with them? I think it would be um, talking a little bit more about team retakes, which um, I know they've been doing, and they haven't really had the first pick on site. They've been doing a good job, especially on Chubb's part, of, of giving up the site and then retaking as a team. But I think they need to combo that util just a little more because we haven't seen the the upper hand being taken by UVU through their util usage. Uh, we've just been seeing um, kind of team peaking when they're taking angles and space back onto site, which is resulting in them getting diffed because Cougar Valorant is very aggressively using that flashes and those fade dogs to hold the site. So we'll see if they'll change that up and be able to use that util to provide a little bit more of an advantage on those site retakes. Yeah, well said. Valorant really is a game where even if you have great aim, you can just make fights that are totally unfair for your opponent. This is an interesting setup from UVU right now. We're seeing two. I think. I wonder. I wonder why they're be fighting for a lobby control here. Yeah, they are fighting for a lobby, which is they have a fast flank going down with two out C long. Now, will they read this? They don't have any util to tell them that there's a push coming out of C. This could be really bad, and they're gonna find Spike. Zim Zam is spotted. Spike down, attacker Ping. spawn. Oh, wow. But they get that pick right off. So now back to even numbers. Although they do know Spike is towards B or C. So I wonder if UVU is going to expect. The A players for UVU are just holding down sight. They did see them with a fade eye or saw that it was shot. Cover going out. So they're just spreading back out to hold sights as best they can. Oh, and taking C here might be actually a really good option. It is. We're seeing the smokes move off of A and making a lot of noise. Garage, or they're continually drawing out. This might be a B execute, is what we might see here. 30 seconds left. Hey, knife didn't see anybody garage. There. They get that pick. That's so good. KO will shut him down with Cypher. You go. Find Cypher as well. Wow. They're just getting all the lucky angles on this. This is really good, and their crosshair placement's just ready to capitalize. Now, does it looks like Chubbs may save here because their economy is pretty broken, and they don't actually know where he is. Just work his way back to C long. Oh, and they're. It looks like UVU is trying to tell Chubbs to just go all the way past in their spawn. But he is t tightly tucked onto that C main. Cougar Valorant will go hunting. Oh, and Devin's going to be there to pick it up. He is. We're here that was we're great. Great hunting. That was really hard on that UVU economy. They are now poor as can be. Denying that rifle is huge. They go from being able to hero rifle to having to mid buy, maybe throw a couple mid buy guns on a few of their players. Man, this is a completely different Let's Cougar team as opposed to what they played on Saturday. They are playing so cohesively, they're playing off each other so well. That's just very fun to watch. Oh, and they're able to bait out that, that quick. Oh, and it doesn't clear. They, they're going to think this is free. Alice is ready to do an omen smoke. Oh, and is not able to find anything, although there are now two that are low. Where are you? Saturn Pulling from Heaven now smoked off. Let's have a little angle we can see to the side of sight. They know she's up there. They know she's up there now. Let's see how they hold this. Wisely got someone tucked in hell, and then they have two people holding this CT angle. One gets one pit, gets two, gets three. Great hold. Only losing Gormzy on M3. That was very well done. Both of the smokes from Taiga that round had pixel angles that they could see through. I wonder if that was intentional or just uh, misplaced as Taiga was hurriedly putting down smokes trying to get on site. 
luckily, UVU wasn't able to punish them for it. Wow. They almost were able to get just a tiny um, pixel through that Homans or that uh, Heaven Smoke, which almost yeah. resulted in a death on uh, on on Devin. But luckily, he escaped with his life. Bomb buddy out. Devin does have that razor ult this round, so that comes out. Cover going out. So we have three ults on the side of each team. Let's see that smoke come out quickly. We have four of the UVU players have rotated over towards B or C. So that A site is just almost wide open. They just have to deal with that chamber or that uh, cipher, which can be difficult to circumvent that util usage that is blocking them from entering site. But I think they might be able to do it because they're not seeing any rotation hey, over towards A. Shadows, doesn't find they know site is free. Shadows traveling. Smokes come in, they're absolutely perfect. Oh, that is unlucky. The smoke almost was a... Max being able to just shoot right through that smoke. Playing from heaven. Hoping one more is found. Got one. Saber finds him in heaven. That is now an even 4v4. This is going to be very difficult, very, very difficult for... Oh, that's... And he gets the pick! Ty guys uses a whole kit. Moving all over the map. That is a tough... That was a very good retake by UVU. That breach ult made the difference for the round. And UVU find their second. You know, they did just what you said. They regrouped and they used util this time. They did. It was just a little, much more impressive cells. usage of util usage okay, on a retake. Okay, my arms are good. We can go. Reach ult probably being one of the strongest abilities in the whole game for a retake. Yeah, definitely. And you still have three more ults this next round. They could use a phase ult. Or the fade ult, which is going to be just as. I'm seeing people using ghosts and around to get to places early. I don't know how loud that is. It's definitely suspect. And they smoke that off. A lot of patient. Oh, and they find the pit garage. Cover going out. Oh, and that is a very unlucky. It just barely misses that omen who's just tucked in. An omen teleports to get out of there. Oh, but he cancels. Such a smart play. Devin finds the kill. Oh, Devin is just on fire this round. That's a seize right there. Still waiting. Oh, the seize missed. So did the eye. This is a good setup right here. This is again making them take both of these fights simultaneously. This is difficult. Also very good from Devin, not peeking out too far when taking this fight. Oh, perfect. That was a trap and a half right there. Devin throwing his entire kit at him. Had no clue that Zimzam was waiting at Graffiti. Yeah, well, cheats should not be on. Um, they should have tournament mode at our admin cheats. Which we may need to uh, fix that between this round and next. They know they're there long. So we're seeing these smokes come down much faster from um, 
from Atlas on UVU's side. They're doing a much better job of, of smoking off those angles when they have the when they get the peaks onto the Cougar Valorant's players. So I think that's causing Cougar Valorant to have to slow down a little bit and be a little bit more methodical and, and, and thoughtful about what space they take. Oh, and we have... This is a very aggressive position from Razorberry. Raspberry. Excuse me. Omen is holding garage with a judge here. Bring them down. But most of Cougar Valorant coming in through C main. Ah. So comes out as they get onto site. Valorant finds one more. One. one. Oh, seconds. and just unlucky. Wow. That was a great trade there. One enemy remains. And there's just one left. Spike planted. Ooh, unfortunate. Oh, that is very lucky. Although if she comes back, that could be a disaster for UVU. Doesn't seem to be the case. Pushing through. No, we don't. They don't have anyone watching garage right now. It gives them away. Very well done. Two people with very low HP. Nine and I didn't see what Devin had, but he was also very very low. Yeah, he had less than 10 HP. Oh, and he's gonna peek. Oh, and it results in the pick onto them. I thought that Chubbs had that kill for sure. Cover going out. Oh, just gets spotted. Takes one. But trade is there from Raspberry. Atlas in a very, very sneaky posi off angle here. It's possible that that Cougar Valorant does not good. Oh, but it's the Fade Dog the fade does. Planted. The Fade Prowler Whoa. finds them. Wow. One enemy remaining. Peaks ended eight too many angles. That's unfortunate. Looks like Saturn may have last round, round in the half. May opt for a tech boss here. Like they are doing a tech pause. Let Atlas get back into the match. Or Saturn, excuse me. Saturn, was that their jet? Yeah, she kind of went yeah. forward and into that wall. It looked a little weird from my perspective. I didn't know she would disconnect, though. So we'll take a look at the rule book, find out about cheats. Fortunately for both teams, Anytime a cheat is being used, it is announced in all chat, so teams can see the integrity between each other there. I believe there is a different type of cheat, so in tournament mode there is a tech, pawn, tech pause functionality that is still available for um, tournament matches that doesn't require cheats to be on, but I could be wrong in that. Exactly, like Simzam was saying. Any cheat being used is announced.
They're just talking out how to go about the cheats situation here. Saturn's still not connected. For anyone who is tuned in late, um, this game here is the first match of the Cougar Valorant team versus UVU Black. Just waiting to get this sorted out. Saturn has returned. Looks like UVU is in contact with Face it, trying to figure out what to do. At least one match of Cougar Valorance was played with the same way, and I think they learned to do it this way from a different team. Looks like Saturn's back and gone and back again. drawing hearts with his knife. That's something you gotta practice. That's not too easy. We apologize for the delay. Thank you guys for your patience. Okay, looks like they're ready to just play it out.
All right, ready from both team, and the timer is once again going. Thanks for your patience, everyone. We're getting back into this game. There's just a little fraction of space. Oh, and he'll find two. Oh, he goes two and then goes down. But Raspberry, that was a very game. That was a round making play right there. That was so well done. Spike planted. I got gonna have to tidy up those smokes. A 3v3 oh. now. You view grouping up outside of B and Garage. And this is the perfect situation for cover going out. One lurk, perfect. One Two. Last one is Logs. It's in the smoke though, so I don't know if they're aware of this. Very well done. Switching sides. All right. Great first half from Cougar Valorant. Ten to two. A little bit of some miscommunication regarding cheats, but we're back into the action now. And now this isn't a very this is a very attack sided map, so we're gonna see if there's a difference in in how the teams perform now that um, UFU will be on attack and they will have a little bit more of an advantage. And we'll see if this will even out based on the rolls. They're grouped up outside of A right now. We'll, we'll, we'll fight for that A control. Oh, and that's a nade. That is a very good nade right there. Finding two. two. That season nade was absolutely flawless. Marks two, Marks two another... more. This is that is such a difficult start for this pistol round. They need this. They truly do on the UVU side. Yeah, loss here could spiral into terrible news for their economy and they don't have very many rounds they can give up they do not have a lot of leeway at all here gone here having to take space towards a main even he's out on mid oh oh unlucky gets caught with you two out by gorns but luckily not picked off that was fine one. Oh, and the trade isn't there it is now an even round with just a tiny bit of health advantage towards uvu Luckily, he can play off this alarm bot. Oh, and he's able to get it. Thirty seconds left. Shadows traveling. Spike planted. They do know Nolan is in garage because of that alarm bot, and we're gonna. It looks like we're gonna see all three pushing out. Oh, Saber didn't see him. One enemy remaining. Wormsy with a quick flick. Oh, luckily Saber's there to trade. That was a very, very close round. <laughs> it kind of tipped back and forth. Fortunately for Cougar Valorant, they just had numbers at that point and could trade off of each other. Yeah. That nade right at the beginning of the round made it real nice for them in that retake. Yeah, that was the difference of the round for Cougar Valorant right there. Without that nade, it would have been a whole different conversation at the end of that round. I have a feeling UVU does not step into A immediately. Any more rounds this attack half. I think they may have learned their lesson on that. That was a great use of util by uh, both Zimzam and Devin. Placing swarm grenade. We'll it did see without the name this time. Devin's gonna farm that orb, get it up very nice. UVU did force this round, knowing that they need to get as many 
rounds as they possibly can this half. Gets one. Another one there though, did they read this? He's just tucked in, hoping that they don't find him. Devin is alone on A site, and they have three people pushing onto A site. Oh, it's just unlucky timing. One suppressed. They know he's still there. Alice in heaven now. Spike planted. He leaves. He doesn't know he's still there. Chubb's having a big flank here. Oh, but looks like looks like Gorms does expect it. Oh, and he gets the shot. They know one is one is short, and he is at one HP. Last one is one HP. Very well, get very well done by BYU. Great retake altogether. Gun here. Some great awareness from Gormsy watching Gun here. Lurker. Yeah, watching that flank was huge. That could have been that could have been a Matt massive point. flank right there. That could have ended Put badly. The in the round. I mean, you look at this scoreboard for this Cougar Valorant, and they, everyone is pulling their weight. They are all playing so well tonight. Cougar Valorant just needs one more round to finish this game out. Cover going out. Hear a lot going on to see long, but they're not pushing forward. I think they did hear that, so they may clear this if they do end up pushing on to C. They have no one on. Oh, and then. Raspberry uh, that's finds one pushing out of A. But they're still dripping up towards C. Committed to the C hit. Wow, game is Saber impressive. Wolf, find one. Oh, and he hits it for 101. One enemy remaining. Spike down, C. This is a good decision to come play off each other now. I was trying to keep hope alive for UVU. Oh, but he didn't get the spike, and now they can just hold it. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Hold line here. It's going to take you away. Straight to the A site to point. And they're gonna wait left. just to make sure that he didn't fake that. Weapon here. Grab a guardian and group up together. He's gonna push into the spawn. Oh. Shadows. He's gonna play an off angle and hope that they both walk through. With this Ares, it's definitely possible that he clutches this round out. One more color. Oh, and they find it. And do they have time to defuse? I think they're doing fine on time, yep. Well, that's oh a gosh, great map me. one. Very well done by BYU. My ultimate is ready. Great There's job. Defenders win. Well played to both teams. We'll get the, the cheat sorted out for game two. Unfortunately, both teams, neither were abusing it. <laughs> Very fortunate.